Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSC Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 for May June 2023 version 2.2. I am going to solve the database task. The document production has already been done. You can find the link in the description. So now we will be solving task 3 database. You are going to prepare some reports using database software. Import the file j23 race.cs. So let's open access. Click on a blank database. Save the database inside your folder. OK. And create the database. You can close the default table which is given here. We need to import raise.csv. So go to external data, new data source from file, text file. Select the raise file, open. Click next. We need to give first row contains field name so that the first row is treated as the column heading, choose the primary key, the IB number is given as the primary key here, so you need to choose that. Now next let's set the data types, go to advanced, the first three fields are text and the next three are number. So this is text, these two are number and double is a number with decimal place so we don't have to change anything then date and time and next is text. So just make sure all the data types are correct, give ok, then next you can click on finish. Now we need to set this as 0 decimal and 3 decimal places. The ID number and year of birth is already integer so we don't have it's already 0 decimal place. Now for LP of ratio we have to set 3 decimal place. So go to the design view right click design view LP of ratio set the decimal place to 3 and the format must be set to fixed so that all the numbers will be shown as three decimal place and the race time must be set to HHMMSS so race time go to format we need this format long time so select long time which is HHMMSS Save the table. Place in your evidence document screenshot showing the field names, data types and primary key used in the table. So you need to take the screenshot of the design view of this table. Make sure the table name is also there and the primary key symbol is visible. Go to your evidence document. So step 15 evidence. Next import the file clubs.csv as a new table. Set all the data types to text. External data. Select text file as it says csv file and we have to import the clubs file. Select first row contains field names, 
choose the primary key primary key is given as club id so club id is the primary key and now we need to set all the data types to text so go to advanced all of them are already text give ok the next finish place in your evidence document screenshot showing the field names data types and primary key so go to the design view take the screenshot of this design with the table name and the primary key simple that is your step 16 evidence create a one to many relationship between club id in the clubs table and club code in the race table so go to database tools relationships add the two tables here we have to create a relationship between club id and the club code so click on club id and drag and drop onto club code so that the relationship is created create so you can see the relationship place in your evidence document screenshot showing fields and type of relationship so you can right click on this edit relationship and take the screenshot from here let's take the screenshot that's your step 17 evidence create a columnar data entry form with all the fields in the race table save the relationship you can close now let's create a columnar data entry form so go to create form wizard you can choose form wizard and we need to make the column for the race table so select the race table add all the fields next it's a columnar form next give an appropriate title this is for the race table so you can give data entry for race click on finish so you got the columnar data entry form apply two different formatting features to this form to improve the design we can give a background to the title right click design view here right click on the form header you can give fill color as black and the text we can set it as white and all the field names can be made bold and black color and let's give appropriate spacing for each of the field can go to the form view we have made some formatting here use the form created in step 18 to add the following data as a new record in the race table so we need to add the this data for that add new click on new so that you get a blank form let's add the data
so all the data are entered place in your evidence document screenshot of the form with the new record displayed so let's take a screenshot that is step 19 evidence save the form next using fields from both tables produce a tabular report that selects the records where area ends with text land and some conditions are given so before making a report we need to create a query so for that go to create query design let's add the tables so we need to give this criteria before giving the criteria we need to add the required fields the required fields are shown here shows only the fields first name last name gender so first name last name gender category area country and race time category area country and race time now let's give the criteria area ends with the text land so under area in the criteria you have to give the text that ends with land so we have to use a wildcard character here which is star star stands for any number of characters so we know it ends with land before that what comes we don't know so we give star here and then land let's run and check whether we are getting the so you can see all the data in area is ending with land go to the design view category is junior or master so under category you have to type junior or master let's run the query so you can see junior or master we have 32 records here save the query now we need to sort the data into ascending order of category page or so now we can start making the report so create report wizard select query 1 add all the fields next click on next we don't have any grouping next sorting i will not do from here i'll do from the report if you do from here the order of the fields will change here they have told it should be in the same order so click next the orientation is portrait so let's give portrait next what title do you want for your report the title is master and junior outcomes master and junior outcomes you can click on finish so the report is shown here let's go to the design view first let's do the sorting it should be sorted into ascending order of category So go to group and sort, click on group and sort, add a sort, select category and ascending order. Ascending order means with A on top. Next, make sure it fits on a single page, has your name, center number and candidate number on the report. So let's give the center number candidate number in the page footer i'll delete this and then 
add a label here. Give your name, center number and candidate number. Now go to the layout view to make sure it will fit within the page. Let's select this and make space for the last field here. Wherever empty space is there, that needs to be removed. First remove the extra space and move it so that we have enough space for the other fields. So it fits on one page. You can see the print preview. There's only one page here. So this is the required report. You can print it from here. Click on print and you can choose the print. Now you can save this report and close. Next, using fields from both tables, produce a tabular report with these criteria. So let's create a query as we did before. So create query design, add both the tables, make sure all the fields are visible. So we need to apply this criteria. Before that, we need to show the required fields. These are the required fields. BIB number, gender, YOB, BIB number, gender, YOB, category, LP of ratio, club name, category, LP of ratio, club name, country, race time, country, race time, and LPF uplift. LPF uplift is not there in this. It's a runtime field. You can see here it's given here. Contains a new field called LPF uplift, which is calculated at runtime. This will calculate the race time multiplied by the LPF ratio. So LPF uplift is race time multiplied by LPF ratio. So we have to add a new field here, LPF, uplift, like any formula you have to specify, instead of equal sign we will give colon, that is the format in Access. So LPF uplift, it is the uh, race time multiplied by LPF ratio, so race time give the spelling as given here multiplied by lp of ratio so this is the required formula now let's click on run and see whether it's working so it's showing here, it's showing as decimal number. We have to set it as format this field to display as HHMMSS. So go to the design view. Click on this here on property sheet. We can set the data type. Click on property sheet. The format should be 
it is HHMMSS that is a long time so set it as long time it's not visible here but you need to just type it long time and press enter now you can click on run you can see now it is showing as the time format go back to the design view now we can give the criteria country code is GBR so country code we have not added here because it's not to be shown in the report but we need to give the criteria so add country code and in the criteria we we'll give GBR let's check whether it's working so all the country code is with GBR is shown but it is not to be shown in the report so do not select this next yob is 1960 or earlier so under yob give less than or equal to 1960 you can run and see all the data are shown here which is less than or equal to 1960 Now the rest of the steps can be done from the report. Let's save this query. Save. Now let's make the report. Create report wizard. Select your query to add all the fields. Next. Make sure all these are together. It doesn't get grouped. If this table is selected, it will get grouped. So make sure all of them are together next sorting we'll do from the report the orientation is given as landscape so set it as landscape next the title is gbr category results can click on finish now let's go to the design view do the remaining steps so first we need to sort the data into ascending order of country so group and sort add a sort select country ascending so a on top and descending order of LPF ratio so again add a sort select LPF ratio descending so from largest to smallest so sorting is done calculates the longest race time and places this at the end of the report so select race time this is the data data is the one which is in the detail section select race time now you can see the totals here click on that longest means the maximum value now this is not active because it's a time format so we need to give a formula so let's give a formula in the report footer for formula we will open a text box so here in unbound let's write the formula it is the maximum value so max and in symbol bracket you can write race time Make sure the spelling and all the formatting or the underscore everything is included otherwise the function will not work. You just need to give maximum and then uh, in symbol brackets race time. It will be automatically set with square brackets. Let's so you can see this is the longest race time is shown here. 
let's go back to the design it should be right aligned with the raise times in the raise time column that we'll do from the layout view let's make it right aligned on home tab you can set it as right aligned now has the label longest race time. So in this text you can give longest race time. Has your name, center number and candidate number in the footer so it appears in the same position on every page. So in the page footer I will delete this. Let's add a label. Give your name, center number, and candidate number. Save and print your report. Before that, we have to make sure it fits on a single page wide. Single page wide means all the columns must fit. So go to the layout view. Let's So now you can see all the columns are fitting inside one page wide and we have to keep the race time below the race time column. So let's move this here. Let's remove this outline. If you click on format, you can remove the outline from shape outline. Make it transparent. So it is below the raise time column. So this is the required report. So we have two pages here. But all columns are fitting on one page. And now you can print this report. Next, place in your evidence document a screenshot showing the database formula used to calculate the longest race time. So go to the design view. Take the screenshot of this formula. Step 21 evidence. So this is the end of the database task. Next one is the presentation which will be uploaded in another video. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for now.